Today has been a really shitty day. That's uh, probably one of the worst day I've ever had on trail. Uh, it's been raining all day, really heavy rain. Uh, so most of my stuff is wet. Uh, I think there's more more rain I've ever seen on trail, probably with Iceland. And it only stopped late in the afternoon. Um, so that the wind could come and take over and I was hiking on a ridge and it was like crazy windy and it got really really cold like freezing cold actually my hands were hurting and then I found this place that you probably can see around me uh, it's a kind of uh, stone refuge hut very very basic uh, more than basic, I don't know what it's used for actually. Uh, it's probably full of rats, but that will do just great actually for tonight. Uh, probably better than in my tent, uh, probably a bit warmer, and it's also more sheltered from the wind. I don't know about tomorrow, but I uh, actually contemplated uh, just staying here all day because I've got food and I could do that. I just can't be hiking in this weather anymore. I just had enough today. But I guess that's a bit silly and uh, I'll just see if the weather is a bit better. I'll just uh, soldier up and uh, go to the next town and try to have a rest there if I can. Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I will be in better spirits because uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty down at the moment, even though you know, in the grand scheme of things, I've chosen to be here. Uh, and you need to embrace the suck and that's just... That kind of things just happen. It really, really sucks when it happens. But, you know, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, it will be over. I'll be warm and dry and with some beer or ice cream in me and... You can't help but uh, feeling low sometimes when you're hiking. It's just uh, part of what it is, what uh, doing a long distance hike is. I still didn't feel too good this morning and stayed in my sleeping bag till 11 a.m. I just didn't want to walk. But I checked the weather forecast and though it still looked like crap outside, apparently that's still the best day I'll have for a while. So, yep, no choice but to move on. So I did end up leaving uh, that stone hut I was staying at last night and I did have a rat visiting me. Uh, it only went for the, my rubbish bag actually and uh, didn't go for the food. So yeah, I guess it was just a, a dumb one, lucky for me. I can't believe it, like to our sunshine. Feels like a dream. I'm going to wake up 
in a cold hut full of rats, cold and shivering. <laughs> well, hopefully not. What are you guys doing? Fighting? Humping? Hard to tell. where I was this morning with the 360 view and here is the village I forgot the name of uh, that's where I got lunch and then I had to climb back up on the other side Here I have some really nice and tasty Bleu d'Auvergne. Beautiful! I got these two dinners that are special.
specialties from Auvergne and I have actually never tried any of those. After four hours of solid rain, it has stopped a little bit. And I'm here at Viaduc de Garabi. I believe it's been built by, uh, or designed, should I say, by uh, Gustave Eiffel. The Viaduct of Garabi was also the shooting location of one of the most legendary French films never made. In 1964, Henri-Georges Clouseau started to shoot here an extremely ambitious movie, L'Enfer, Hell, but the shooting was interrupted after only three weeks. You can see the story of that unmade movie and some unbelievable footage that looks like a mix of Dario Argento and David Lynch in the documentary called L'Enfer d'Henri-Georges Clouseau. I don't know if you can see, but well, there are a lot of really cool birds. I have no idea what they are, but they are really cool looking. So since uh, pretty much lunch time today, I have been on the Camino de Santiago, but uh, going the other direction, because there's only one direction to the Camino, because it's a pilgrimage and everybody is going to Santiago. So yeah, it's been uh, interesting to see a lot of hikers today. I'd like to do the Camino soon actually, which is funny because for years I said I would never do it. I thought that it's too busy and the views are probably better on any other trail, but now I feel like I've done enough long walks with no hikers to be seen that I would actually really enjoy the social aspect of the Camino. Plus, it's probably the long distance trail that is the most diverse in terms of age, countries and walks of life, so it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Maybe next year, who knows. pushing hard, about 42 kilometers a day that is, uh, I can be home in five days pretty much, which would be perfect timing because it's my brother's birthday. So that would be really cool to be there and uh, 
have a nice dinner with the family. So yeah, actually really excited about that. Oh, lots of ups and downs today. Dehydrated Arigo is probably not the best, but it's better than noodles. The Loire River is back, and here is technically the very first rock castle. It looks like I'm back on the GR3 that I was on uh, when I was uh, following the Loire River and all the castles. So I'll be at the source of the river tomorrow, I guess. That's pretty cool.
If this isn't romance, I don't know what is. This is the top of Mont Maison, which marks the end of Auvergne and the beginning of Ardèche, home sweet home.